Sylvanus Ernest has been an outspoken critic of Liat over the years. He reacted to the news of the demise of the regional carrier with an I told you so smirk on his face. Ernest says the writing had been on the wall for Liat for many years, with governments providing financial life support to the alien airline time and again. The COVID-19 pandemic, he says, has only hastened the inevitable. I would say my thought is what is happening, it was just a matter of time. Um, for all those years that I have been talking about it, and it's not just me, right? Maybe you hear my voice more because, you know, for whatever reason, but for all those years that we're talking about it, it's because we could have seen what's going on. You know, we could have seen the state that um, uh, Liat is in and also what was happening with the Eastern Caribbean civil aviation. Ernest says the Liat model was not workable. He alleges the aviation industry in the Eastern Caribbean is muddled in politics and narrow self-interest, which he says stifles the entry of smaller airlines, which, he argues, could have helped and not hurt Liat's operations and bottom line. Even if they come with a new airline now, as long as the government's hands are tied into that new company, the same thing would happen. It's just too much politics in it. And you know, the sad thing is, uh, we talk about OECS unity and all that, but you have each island or each government on their own vibe. You understand? Some governments are able to use the airline to get what they want and they don't care what it takes while some governments are not getting anything out of it you know I can say for example we don't have an airline company in St. Lucia and it's not that we don't have people that have been trying Dominica doesn't have Grenada doesn't have one St. Kitts doesn't have one right but if you go to um, St. Vincent St. Vincent have four so you have to think and wonder you know why one island would have four companies and all those other islands cannot have one. It's because of what is the politics that's involved in that. Ernest dismisses the initial post-Liat proposals as mere window dressing. Far more, he says, has to be done to effect meaningful change. It's a mess. It's a mess. Could you imagine you have this region and one airline? Aviation is vital to the success of the region. Trade, travel and tourism are heavily dependent on a well-functioning aviation sector. Getting a formula that works for the Caribbean in the post-COVID-19 environment will be very taxing for both the region's governments and businesses. Stanley Lucian for the HTS News Force.